you want to help sharks, you're in the right place. Let's talk about the current projects of the nonprofit organization Fins Attached and how you can get involved. Vamanos. Hey, I'm Sarah. This is Abby, and welcome to Aswool Unlimited. If you're new here, I'm a scuba instructor, and I moved into my van in 2021 after losing my dive shop in Indonesia due to shutdowns. I've been on the road diving around the US, Canada, and Mexico for the last two years, teaching on YouTube along the way. All right, let's get into the video. Sharks are incredibly important to the ocean ecosystem as apex predators, but have suffered the consequences of fear-mongering by modern media for decades. This has put many shark species in a fragile spot of teetering on the edge of extinction. So it's up to us shark lovers to help them rebound. Remember back in the beginning of summer when I went to the Long Beach Scuba Show? Well, I met some volunteers from the organization Fins Attached and they told me they were based out of Denver, Colorado. So I knew I had to reconnect with them when I headed into the mountains. The Fins Attached mission is to conduct research, promote conservation, and provide education for the protection of the marine ecosystem, specifically sharks. But they have programs helping sea turtles as well. Their focus is research because data collection is what drives conservation. Science must be provided to government authorities in order to drive policies that protect sharks. I met up with a team in Colorado while I was visiting this summer. The nonprofit is run by a small, dedicated team, primarily located in Colorado, with local scientists and volunteers in Baja and Costa Rica. I bet you're probably asking, why Colorado? This is the organization's most frequently asked question, and I love their response. They say, why not? The ocean is important to everyone on the planet, and its health affects every aspect of life, whether you live in a landlocked state or not. So let's get into the current projects and how you can help. wanted to participate in a community science trip, Fins Attach runs very special small group trips to Mexico and Costa Rica. These trips are designed to show participants the research work going on in each location and, when appropriate, give hands-on experience. I'm actually currently in talks with a team about the possibility of a Fins Attached Azul Unlimited collaboration trip. If you want to be the first to know about anything that comes of that, join my Patreon community or sign up for my email list. Fins Attached and a Costa Rican nonprofit organization called Kids Saving the Rainforest are supporting a local man named Milo in Isla Damas to change the culture of turtle egg harvesting in his community. He's giving poachers the opportunity to change their ways and help collect eggs for incubating, hatching, and releasing instead of selling them as food. A donation as little as $50 can help save two nests, which is about 200 baby turtles which is pretty freaking cool. Fins Attached is using satellite and acoustic tagging to learn more about shark migratory patterns and nursery areas. Scientists will tag pregnant sharks and when they give birth, the tags will ping the satellites, giving specific information about where nursery areas are located, something we know very little about. The goal is to identify migratory patterns and provide the science to get more MPAs, and that's marine protected areas, established in these crucial places. Now, all of this is just the basic information of this organization and their projects, so I highly recommend checking out their website for more information. You can even join the Fins Attached email list to learn more about their upcoming research projects. Also, if you're particularly fired up about their research, please donate. This type of research is very expensive and desperately underfunded, so every little bit helps. And that's it. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very passionate about working with 
nonprofit organizations that are making an impact and helping our oceans. Conservation work is challenging, but splitting the effort among many passionate people makes change possible. It really does. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. I forgot to show you my shirt. Look at how cute this Finn's Attached shirt is. <laughs> I love it. It is so hot in Denver right now. I, I'm melting. <laughs> Plan is to stay in Denver for the night so that I can go diving tomorrow morning, but it's gonna be a struggle to get through today in this heat. It's supposed to get up to 92 and I live in a metal box. Basically what we're doing. <laughs> I gotta say, Cities usually aren't super friendly to people who live in their vehicles. I understand people don't want us around, but I don't know, Denver seems particularly difficult. And maybe I'm just not in the right areas, but there's so many limitations on where you can park. There's not very much shade, which really sh shocked me, to be honest, because there's so much greenery and there are a lot of trees but just not like anywhere where you're allowed to park. <laughs> so that's been really interesting. I don't know, I guess I kind of expected Denver and uh, Boulder as well. Boulder was a little bit better, but I, I just expected this area to kind of be like Portland. <laughs> I don't know why. I definitely don't want to spend more time in this area than I have to. Like after this weekend, I'm going back into the mountains. There's no reason for me to suffer like this.